just when I thought the speedruns couldn't get any more broken, the Hello Neighbor 2 world record speedrun is now under two minutes. Let's check it out. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel for another speedrun video. So in case you didn't see it, just a few days ago I made a video detailing how Hello Neighbor 2 has already been beaten in under 3 minutes, and yeah, in only a few days since the game's full release, the speedrun was optimized and some new tricks were found, and now a runner by the name of AJ has beaten the game in under 2 minutes. Now this video won't be as in-depth for some of the tricks I already covered in my previous video, so definitely check that one out if you haven't yet. And gotta give a quick shout out to my channel sponsors G Fuel and Control. If you'd like to help support the channel and grab some yummy sugar-free energy or delicious meal replacement options respectively, be sure to check them out and use code TETRA to save some money on your order. Anyways, smack that like button, let's see how Hello Neighbor 2 has been beaten in the amount of time it takes to watch Mr. Beast sponsor TikTok four times. Alright, so once again, time for the speedrun starts as soon as you skip the intro cutscene. Then, after skipping the barn by clipping through the van here and skipping some cutscenes, we make it to the neighbor's blue house. And here we can sneak in and pass the police guy inside and simply crouch into the door and get up to clip right on through to grab the newspaper inside to complete this section. Then next we get to the museum section where the neighbor, or Mr. Peterson, is found. Now as a quick side note, I just realized that despite being the titular character of this game, there is a strong chance that you won't even see the neighbor at all when speedrunning this game, or at most you might see him for a second or two. Anyways, for now, here we just grab this shovel to officially end the first night of the game. Then next up we got the bakery section of this game. I went into detail about the old way of doing the section in my last video, but just as I was finishing it, a new skip was discovered. So after saying a quick hello to Chef Mommy over here and grabbing the fire extinguisher in the back kitchen area, we can take it back to the front by the cash register, where the key that we need here is located. By facing this shelving unit, climbing onto it, and then jumping off at just the right moment and then moving back to the right and boosting using the fire extinguisher at just the right moment, you can actually clip into this cash register and if everything went well, you will be within range to grab the key within. Now back at the museum, we can use this newly obtained key to unlock the front door here, and now we head to the second floor and use the fire extinguisher while climbing onto this table by the wall here to clip right through it to get the neighbor's family picture inside that we need to progress in the game. Next we get to the lakeside house with the taxidermist guy that shoots at you, and here is where we have our first new strategy that saves a whole bunch of time for this speedrun. So in my last video, at the time, the best strategy was to use the fire extinguisher which you can exploit to let you float and gain elevation to reach this balcony area where you can find this shovel that you need to dig out the safe here in order to enter a code to open it to get the key inside. Well, since then, one trick was found that you can actually get the shovel a little faster by climbing into this window, standing on this window trim, and then fire extinguisher boosting up which lets you clip right through the ceiling to reach the shovel from below. But with both of these tricks, you still had to dig up the safe and then spend a whole bunch of time putting in the password to open it. So a new trick was needed in order to save some more time. Enter the safe skip. Now at first, this trick still required the shovel to dig up the safe, but by standing in the right spot and using the fire extinguisher while climbing onto it, much like most things in this game, you could clip inside of it enough to grab the key within. Soon after this though, it was discovered that you don't actually even need the shovel at all. By finding a different spot, this time behind the safe here, you could actually do a similar clip while the safe is still buried. This time this trick is a bit different though, as just getting inside the safe isn't enough, but you have to time getting into it just right that you're still able to jump back out. And if done correctly, when you jump, the camera will like spin around and in this messed up camera state, if you're low enough to the ground, you can grab the key within. This trick is pretty tight, as you only have like a two frame window to pick up the key, making it way less consistent and more risky. But not having to go and grab the shovel saves a whole lot of time, not to mention not having to enter in the passcode anymore too. Anyways, with this key we can hop on up to the second floor of the museum to open up this door and punch in 1135 into the safe to grab the camera inside. Now we get to the mayor's estate section of the game where another new trick has been discovered. 
Now before, we had to extinguisher boost up to the balcony, go around, and then extinguisher clip our way into this room to grab the next key. But now, runners have found that you can clip into this greenhouse room and then similarly climb onto this little lantern to then extinguisher clip into the room key instead. This only ends up saving a few seconds, but when the runs are around 2 minutes long, every second counts, now more than ever. Now, I should mention that there is another trick in this section that's currently being tested that has the potential to save even more time. If you save the previously obtained key by clipping into the room with the camera in the safe instead of using it, here, by sprint jumping while looking down as far as you can and then throwing the key, you can abuse the absolute jank of this game as it will literally send you flying. This trick, however, is incredibly risky as the key can send you flying pretty much in any direction and it hasn't been pulled off in a top level run yet. But there is definitely at least a few more seconds that can be saved with this, it will just take a miracle and, not to mention, nerves of steel. Anyways, back on track here, we now get to the museum one last time for the final stretch of the game. After getting inside and back again to the second floor, we can clip on up to the attic, and here, once up top, we can throw the fire extinguisher up onto the cage, as otherwise it gets taken away from you if it's in your possession as you trigger the next cutscene. Now, unlike in my previous video where we wanted to use the window here to clip onto the cage to then clip out of the museum to finish the run, a new trick was found where you actually want the fire extinguisher to fall back into the cage after you throw it up there, and then once the cutscene is skipped, you can now use this extinguisher down here in this corner to clip out faster than ever before. And then, on December 11th, 2022, after making this clip to get outside and then getting back to the front door to finish the game, after numerous hours of speedrunning, AJ made history as the first person to beat the game in less than 2 minutes with an absolutely mint time of 1 minute and 56 seconds. Holy fucking shit! It's Ivo! It's fucking Let me go! Let me go! As we saw, some of these tricks are pretty crazy and show how parts of the game are really broken, and I've even gotten comments with weird conspiracy theories that the developers made this game this breakable on purpose. But A, I don't think the devs ever accounted for people literally phasing into safes with a fire extinguisher like this, and B, I think that really discredits the amount of time and work that the speedrunners put into this game to not only find these tricks, but also optimize and master them. On the other hand though, as a bit of bonus content here, the Back to School DLC has been beaten in less than 10 seconds, so there's that. And also, despite saying they wouldn't get in the way, the devs are apparently planning to patch some exploits it seems, so uh, I guess time will tell. Anyways, although AJ's run was near perfect with the current strats, like I said earlier, there are still a few new tricks that could save even more time. But I think this is around where the world record will plateau, unless some crazy new tricks are discovered, which at this point, there's definitely a non-zero chance that could happen. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of my other speedrun videos, and be sure to subscribe to find your way back here in the future. And as always, thank you all so much for stopping by today, and I will see you in a bit.